Hello Bitwine Advisors, this is Elad and today I'm going to show you uh, a typical session uh, between a Bitwine client and an advisor over the Bitwine network. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, client's point of view as well as the advisor's point of view simultaneously so you can really see what's going on at each moment. All right, so. Um, a client may find you via several ways. Um, for example, here I'm on the online psychic network, psychic.bitwine.com, and you can see on the right side you have all kind of uh, featured advisors. This is one way that a client may find you. Or they can click this browse categories and search for advisors in specific categories or they can simply type in let's say tarot reader type in a search term and get a list of matching uh, advisors and then um, from the list they can choose whoever they want to see more information let's say choosing this one and they get to the profile page of the advisor this is the profile page showing the description, degrees and qualifications, experience, and on the right side you see the reviews, very important for, the, for clients to uh, actually check the reviews left by other clients to the advisor. And then when they want to actually chat with you, they use this box over here. So to dem demonstrate that, I'm going to switch to uh, my profile. And this is a profile, um, demo profile here of myself that uh, we can use for this uh, demo purposes. Um, a client may uh, simply uh, click the chat with me or they can uh, type here something uh, let's say hi there and click enter and now <coughs> it is connecting and by the way if I were offline then they wouldn't have that green option they would just have a leave leave a message option and what you see here is I'm getting the uh, prompt to log in uh, but this is because the system detected that uh, I do have a user account at Bitwine uh, if I were a new a brand new user who never seen Bitwine before never seen your profile page before I would get actually this uh, uh, dialogue instead which is a guest user simply asking me for to enter a screen name acknowledge that I'm over 18 and I have a payment make I have a payment capability and start chat so let's do that say my name is John I'm over 18 start chat okay this is what's actually uh, starting a conversation and this should ring at my end and you can probably hear it already it's ringing I'm going to try to uh, move this so you can see it. Here. Now you can see that on the bottom right side of my screen, I have John said hi there. Recent payment, one of two calls, which means he actually paid in one of the two calls that he was requested to pay. This is very important to know. So I'll accept the conversation by hitting start chat and at this point okay and now we're getting the chat console open up opens up and what can we see here we see first of all chat with John and not here I'm, I'm seeing the, pay the payment history of the client as we've seen before one of two calls meaning uh, this client had two calls where he was requested to pay money and in one of them he actually paid 
and, and notice that in this case it's actually unregistered client and still the system knows uh, to track the payment history <coughs> and uh, John says hi there and we can answer hi John and what you can see I'm going to show you here on the screen both the uh, advisors screen the chat console but also I'm going to show you now the uh, the client point of view the client screen and I'm going to try to make it so that you'll be able to see both at the same time bear with me just a second while I'm arranging the screens okay um, so this is what the client sees okay seeing Elad Baron has accepted your chat and hi John um, and now I can type uh, I have this issue and switching to the seller view again the right side now is what the seller sees the advisor sees the left side is the left side is what the client sees so on the right side I'm typing as an advisor what is your issue John and you see that as I'm typing it on the right side the client actually gets it on the left side um, and another point is after a few messages the client get prompted to bookmark this page by clicking here on this on this link they can bookmark this uh, your your profile page so next time when they want to act to, to call you they can just have it in the browser bookmarks directly your profile page if they hit here the uh, bookmark this page um, okay and we continue to chat 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 and notice the free introductory time going down here 20 second 19 the client actually see it here on the right side free introductory time and it's going down all the way to zero and I'll let it reach zero just so you see what happening let's start by the uh, uh, from the seller's po from the advisor's point of view when it reaches zero you are getting this message requesting per minute charge one dollar twenty five per minute in my case please wait while your client is authorizing payment you will be notified when payment arrives okay and it tells you that this chat remains active so you can actually keep typing here okay um, now let's look at the uh, client point of view but it's very important to be patient here when you're uh, an advisor and you'll see why in in just a minute but you need to be patient here and it's important to understand here that you will be notified when payment arrives and while you can s keep typing um, take this with a grain of salt because uh, as you can see here you can see it but it's very easy for the client to miss your typing uh, at this stage when they're actually authorizing money so there's a good chance that they're not gonna see uh, what you type until they finish to, to authorize the money okay so this is what the client uh, sees introductory is over to continue dollar 25 per minute is requested okay before you can accept any charge you must authorize a credit limit for this call and here it asks you to put a number in the default is twenty dollars and click add credit it tells you that it will open in a new paypal window and this is not a charge you will be able to use this credit to pay advisor later you will not be charged for unused credit so basically it explains the it explains to the client that they need to put some credit limit for the call and that the money that they put in they can use later to accept your charge so let's let's see what's happening here so I'm just clicking add credit here and a new window is popping up um, let me just move it so you'll be able to see it 